This is a video about the choices between manufactured e-bikes and e-bike kits to address your bike needs. Even though electric bikes are in great use throughout Europe and Asia, here in the US the adaption to e-bikes has been a bit slower. However, because of increased demand over the last seven years, today many bike manufacturers are entering the e-bike market with a range of models available and we're now even beginning to see local bike shops carrying lines of e-bikes. But also, with individuals having greater and greater access to parts directly from the manufacturer, we're seeing the do-it-yourselfers push the limits of what's possible with electric-powered bikes. There are three types of motors, front hub, mid-drive, and rear hub. In Europe, the most common is the front 250-watt motor due to speed limit restrictions. Today, e-bike batteries can range from 12 volts to 72 volts and beyond. Within these broad ranges is a combination that will work absolutely best for you. Before considering what solution is best for you, you have to determine what your cycling needs are and interests and then find the best fit for you. Are you a casual biker, biking several times a month? Are you an enthusiast biker on a regular basis? Are you interested in commuting or off-roading? What's the terrain that you need the bike to deal with? This is really important. Flat, mountains, damp, dry. How far do you need the bike to go? Do you want the bike to be a scooter with no pedaling, just use the throttle, or are you interested in riding it like a bike? All of these questions should be answered before you make a decision about choosing an e-bike solution. Once you've answered these questions, you can comfortably look at the many options available for your particular needs. So let's first look at e-bikes from manufacturers. Thanks to the wide adaption of e-bikes in Europe and Asia, bike manufacturers have benefited from the learning curve and are making incredible strides in introducing cutting-edge bikes to the U.S. market. Manufacturers such as Faraday, Specialized, Trek, Raleigh, Bosch, iZip, Pedigo, and many others are helping to introduce the benefits of e-bikes to the U.S. market with some amazing, amazing bikes. There are four basic components that make an e-bike an e-bike. First, it's the bike. Then there's the motor, the battery, and the controller or computer that makes all the parts work together. Manufacturers are coming up with ways in which to integrate those components into the bike and the frame, and particularly the frame, to create more of a plug-and-play solution for users. With that comes some trade-offs. The average manufacturer is creating bikes with motors that range typically from 250 watts to a maximum of 750 watts and batteries that usually max out, but not always, but about 36 volts. Typically this is more than enough power than more than enough range for the average user. With this turnkey approach also comes a higher price tag. It isn't until you get into the e-bike kits and the do-it-yourself kits that you have access to much greater power and much longer ranges. In the last 10 years, there have been a group of manufacturers that have concentrated on the e-bike kit market and through their advances have made it possible for people to convert a regular bike into an e-bike in a matter of hours and usually at a reasonable price. Once you look into the kit market, you begin to see motors ranging from around 1,000 watts to 10,000 watts and beyond and batteries ranging from 48 volts to 72. Some of the companies leading the e-bike ch kit charge are Bionics, Dillinger, Curry, Ego, Golden Motor out of Canada, and a whole lot more. When buying a kit, you have more control over the specific riding demands that you want met, with opportunities to mix power, range, comfort styles, all to your liking. Whichever choice you make, choose the right fit for what you want out of a bike. E-bikes are a great contribution to our contemporary transportation toolkit and it can work for you.